Though the Haller's farm may seem like just your average ordinary farm, it is far from it. With these sheep being bred with a special genetic mutation called GM1, used to help treat Huntington's disease. Huntington's disease, or HD, is a rare genetic neurodegeneration, meaning progressive loss of structure or function of the neurons. It is a genetic disorder that affects a person's muscle coordination and leads to a steep mental decline. Though symptoms vary, for many it is like Alzheimer's disease, meaning mental impairments such as long and in some cases short-term memory loss, difficulty with abstract thinking, and some displays of reduced certain emotions. There are also more obvious symptoms similar to Parkinson's disease, such as trouble speaking and swallowing, sleep disturbances, seizures, muscle atrophy, cardiac failure, impaired glucose tolerance, weight loss, and osteoporosis. Even though Huntington's disease is quite rare, only affecting about 3 out of 100,000 people, typically Caucasians around 30 to 40 years of age, it is still a terrible illness that is very difficult for the people who are diagnosed with HD as well as their families. I had opened his clinic in the year 2000 and he worked and grew that clinic quite successfully until he had to retire in 2009 at age 38 from Huntington's disease. It can be unexpected. For much of a person's life, they can show no signs or maybe subtle signs of something being wrong. People have always asked me if I have ever had noticed before we got the results, you know, any symptoms or any signs. And honestly, I can say that at that time I would, I would have said no. Um, but I think, you know, everybody, when you look back, I'm sure there were subtle things that, that would have given me some indication in the beginning. Um, I think back to he had stomach twitches almost where he would just um, tighten his stomach muscles. And looking back now, I'm sure that was probably an early symptom. And a lot of times he would you know, point. I could tell he was thinking something and trying to tell me something, but it was almost like his, his brain was working faster than he could, he could get the words out. So looking back, I'm sure there were signs, but nothing, nothing obvious at the time. The illness is so uncommon that many believe it won't happen to them. Much like other serious diseases, the news can be quite hard to take. The day that we went in to get the test results to find out if he was HD positive or not, I remember going in thinking that it was going to be no. Because yeah. I'd gone back and forth, I think, in the days before that. Um, but obviously that was not the news that we got. So I think fear and even though the minute at that time was not any different than one minute before. So, not news you want to hear. Huntington's disease will turn a family's life upside down, with basically all normal walks of life becoming more challenging or even impossible. Uh, one of the hardest things about having diseases is that not being able to do all the stuff that I love to do. I'm a prisoner of this home. I don't get done. I still work full time, so I feel like I have really two full time jobs, three full time jobs because we have a son as well. And um, being the only driver in the house, you can't, I can't say, honey, can you run to the store and grab something quick? He's messy when he eats, it's part of the disease, so there's just more things to clean up and he, he can't help it, but he just, you know, he also can't help do any of the cleaning or any of the chores around the house. You, you still do a little bit of the, the lawn work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, but otherwise, it's it's kind of a lonely feeling to be yeah, a caregiver. Yeah. And um, I used to think I was a pretty patient person, but it definitely, it definitely tests you. The most difficult part that many overlook is that because of the rarity of the illness, many don't understand that someone has it. People mostly think, you know, he's drunk. Um, I've had people almost try to start fights with him. He's, you know, he's just trying to be, Todd's a very friendly person, very outgoing, likes to talk to people, but a lot of people would perceive that as a drunk person coming up and, you know, trying to bother them. We've been turned away at restaurants, 
we had been stopped in airports by security. So, you know, that's, that's hard and it's frustrating, but you know, these people don't know. So I try to, to at least understand from their perspective where they're coming from. One of the things we've done recently to help alleviate some of that is Todd started using a cane to walk with. And believe it or not, public perception is much different. People perceive someone with a cane that obviously has some sort of disability much differently. They're much kinder and you know more apt to help and not get frustrated with him. Because finding a cure is so important to our family, I have become involved with forming a grassroots um, organization. It's a nonprofit organization called The Shepherd's Gift, and our focus is on education, fundraising, and basically getting a cure into the clinical trial process so that we might have, have hope. There is some really promising research going on that I've been involved with through the nonprofit organization, the Shepherd's Gift, that I'm involved in. And there, the research has, is based on a GM1 gangliocide um, from sheep. And it has proven in past animal trials, at least, to um, not only curb the effects, but also reverse some of the effects of HD. Yeah. So it's something that is very promising and our hope is just to get that into a place where in the FDA process, in the clinical trial process, so that families can start trying this. And um, it might not be in time for, for our family, but you know, we can help other families that are going through the same thing. That's, that's our goal. Hopefully, with the help of people like the Huller family and Nikki and her nonprofit organization, Shepherd's Gift, they will find a cure. Science is getting closer and closer to finding an end to this terrible disease.